What's going on, y'all? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yench, and thank you for tuning in to yet another video. This is the Jackery Explore 1000 portable power station, and this thing is a beast, physically and metaphorically. And these, these are the Jackery 100 watt solar panels. And when paired together, these two make an incredible option for you to keep all of your devices powered up and charged up while you're on the go, camping, off the grid, living in a vehicle, you name it. In today's video, we are actually going to be discussing these two devices right here. We're gonna go over a little bit of the technical aspects, but more importantly, we're going to talk about my own user experience, some of the thoughts and the opinions that I have on this setup. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Now I would like to give a quick disclaimer. Jackery did send me both of these units completely free for me to test out and review on my channel. But that being said, they are not paying me for this video. So all of the opinions that I'm going to be talking about are 100% honest. I would never recommend or promote anything to you guys that I wouldn't fully back up myself. And now that that's out of the way, let's start talking about some of the technical aspects of this guy right here. So like I mentioned, this beast of a device right here is called the Jackery Explore 1000. Now, keep in mind, they do have smaller versions of this. This is kind of like their flagship model. I believe they have a 160 watt, a 240, 300, 500, and then this is kind of like the big brother of the group. And obviously it has the most juice. It could power the strongest appliances and charge up your devices the most amount of times. And for the purpose of this video, Video. we're gonna be talking about this because this is the only unit that I've tested out of the group. But if you're someone out there who doesn't need something with this much power, then just know that those options are also available to you as well. All right, so I'm not the biggest technical person at all. In fact, I'm like extremely untechnical, which is kind of ironic because I work with cameras and electronics and gadgets and stuff like that. But I'm going to talk about some of the, the major technical components that you're gonna need to know about this device. And if you want to get into the nitty gritty specifications, Jackery does have all of the specifications listed on their website. And you can find a link to that in the description below if you're interested in doing so. But other than that, let's just quickly touch base on the major technical components. So first and foremost, like the name suggests, this is a 1000 watt battery. It is a lithium ion battery and it has a 1002 watt hour capacity. Now, I actually, when I first got this, I thought 1000 watt just meant that that was like the battery capacity but that actually means that this could power any device or appliance that has up to a 1000 watt output that's different than the 1002 watt hour capacity but like i said i'm not very technical of a person so that was something new that i learned upon getting this item other than that i think it, it's rated at a 2000 watt surge capacity oh there's one other thing i'd like to note this thing is 22 pounds and yeah like i said Said, it is a beast, but that is still nothing compared to some of the other like gas powered generators that you might be considering as an alternative. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's jump into the actual user face because it is a very simple and easy, straightforward to use design, which I am extremely appreciative of. So I'll point out exactly some of the ports we've got. I'm gonna face this towards me so I could actually like look at what I'm saying, but I'll probably just overlay some footage on top so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Starting on the right side here, we have three ports for AC power. This is gonna be your standard 110 volt.
default things that you would plug into the wall at your house. And over on the left here, we have the DC power section. This is basically going to be your 12 volt cords and cables and appliances. So we've got two USB, two USB. There's so many different USBs now. I don't know exactly which ones these are, but there's one that is a USB 3.0 quick charge. And there's also a USB 5 volt 2.4 amp port here. Those are both going to accommodate your standard phone charging plug that could plug right into there. You don't even have to have one of the little cubes that seem to be everywhere when you don't need them. And then when you're looking for one, you can't find it. It's just a mess. Yeah, you don't need those with this guy because the cord plugs right into the box, which is super cool. There's also a couple USB-C ports and there's also going to be a standard 12 volt cigarette plug port thing a mabobber guy there and that concludes the left side oh and up above that we have our input section right here there is one main spot that you plug in the wall charger and then also the solar panels there's an adapter from the solar panels we'll get more into the solar panels a little bit later by the way right now we're just covering the actual power station and so on the right side or left i don't know it depends on what orientation you're looking at there's another little plug here where you could actually plug in the power station into your cigarette lighter in your car so say you're on a long road trip somewhere and you're going to be in the car for a long time it's cool to have that option to plug it directly into your 12 volt car battery and aside from that we have our display our display is actually very useful all you have to do to see the information on the display is you got to click that little display button and then that will show you exactly what percentage your power battery is at and then it'll also show you your current input and output put in terms of watts if that's something that you would like to take into account. Whew, okay, last but not least, there's a cool little flashlight function. You probably can't see it that well because it's daytime right now, but that's pretty useful if you ever need a light when you're on the go. My first night that I used the Jackery Explorer 1000, I actually took it with me on a short truck camping trip up to Mammoth Lakes. You guys might have already seen that video. If you haven't, make sure to check it out. The only thing that I really used the Jackery on was I, when I was chilling in the back of my truck bed, I had this light bulb apparatus that I had turned on to supply light. And that was running for like somewhere between two and three hours. And I also charged my phone completely. It was pretty dead. After all that use, the Jackery went down about 9%, which keep in mind, it was really cold outside and I'm pretty sure that that has an adverse effect on batteries, but that's still really impressive. When I got back from Mammoth, I wanted to see just how much juice this thing really had. So I decided that I was going to edit an entire video on my laptop while it was plugged into this. And when all was said and done, the laptop was plugged in and being used for 11 hours, 11 hours before this thing finally died. And within that time, it wasn't just the laptop that was plugged in. I also charged two of my Sony camera batteries and I made a cup of coffee using an electric kettle, which is an extremely high output device. The kettle actually brought the Jackery down 13%. Another thing to know is when I was making the coffee, I used enough water for about like four to five cups of coffee. So like way more water than I needed. And that obviously drained a lot more energy out of this thing than necessary. So all in all, 11 hours, this thing was going, powering my laptop. Oh, and, and also it charged my phone. This was at like 9% and I plugged in my phone fully charged my phone and there was still a battery left. Whew, I know, that, that, that's a lot. I know, that's a lot to take in and I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot, but there's just a lot to say about this amazing device. Like 11 hours, 11 hours, all my stuff was charging and this thing just handled it like a beast. I was extremely impressed when, when I got those results. Like that was thumbs up to the folks at Jackery for that one. Now we're done talking about the Jackery Explore 1000. And we're gonna switch gears and talk about the 1000, not 1000, 100 watt solar panels that you can either buy together as a kit with your power station, or they also are sold separately as well. You could buy one, you could buy two, you could buy 10, doesn't matter. But they're really cool. They're foldy, they're compact. Actually, you know, I, I headed out to the desert to test these guys and let's just cut away to that footage, okay? Morning, y'all. We're out here in the Joshua Tree Desert, and today we're gonna be testing the 
two solar panels that came with my Jackery Explorer 1000 power bank. And these are super cool. They basically just, uh, they fold up like this and they're 100 watt each. I don't know exactly how long it takes for these to fully charge the power station. The power bank itself right now is completely at zero. I don't know if you can see that. Well, if you can't see it, take my word. I drained this sucker. And today I'm gonna to be testing exactly how long it takes these solar panels to get this guy charged up. We are up at the crack of sunrise. It's 7 a.m., the sun just came out. So I'm gonna be chilling here all day and that's pretty much it. Let's get these, let's get these puppies going, all right? So basically, on each of these solar panels, this little wire is connected. So there's one. And the other one here, I have a little connector. This is the connection piece. This is gonna go directly into the actual power station unit. Basically, it just each of them plug into this, the other one plugs in there, and then this plugs into there. Really cool, really nifty design. I love that the pocket is right on the back of the solar panel. That way, you never lose these cords. These things don't come out. I'm pretty sure you could even charge directly through here, so that way, you can charge your phone directly through this while the power station is charging, so you don't have to wait. That's freaking awesome. So another cool feature about the solar panels is it has this built-in kickstand right into the unit, so that way you get the perfect angle and you get the maximum energy coming from the sun. And basically, you unfold it and you just set it up like that. Pretty neat. All right, and as you can see here, there is some kind of input or output being registered on the device, which means that the solar panels are working and it is officially plugged in. Oh, it went up to 1%. That's exciting. Let's try out this little feature here. Ah, oh, it's charging, that's super cool. Nice. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. It looks like there's some clouds rolling in. They don't look like thick, like rain clouds, but it's definitely obscuring the solar panels from getting their maximum output from the sun. So we're gonna have to take that into account too. It's not a complete bright sunny day, which I kind of just anticipated it would be in the desert. And I did check the weather and it did say it was gonna be sunny, but Hopefully it passes soon. So as the sun is moving through the sky, as it's getting later and later, obviously you want to reposition your panels to get the maximum, get the maximum output from the sun. That looks about right. Unfortunately, the weather has taken a turn for the worst and it's just much cloudier now. The solar panels aren't working nearly as well. It's really just slowed down. So judging by the fact that there's not much daylight left in the day, I don't think that I will be able to hit 100% today, but I think it's safe to say that the device charges at about 10% per hour, give or take, depending on your exact weather conditions. It wasn't the sunniest day, so if it's a bright, sunny, clear day, expect it to take a little quicker. And if it's really cloudy, then just expect it to take a really long time. That about concludes my testing on the solar panel units for the Jackery Explorer 1000. And now I think that I will just pass it back to myself in the future. Now it's not that hard to imagine just how useful this could be for you on your own adventures. If you're living in a vehicle, if you're road tripping, if you're off the grid, if you're doing anything where you don't have like traditional access to power, this thing solves so many problems for you. It's it's unreal and I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what other adventures it's gonna enable me to embark on now that I have it. <sighs> 
Okay, and with that, I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. If you're interested in these products or maybe one of the smaller, more compact versions, I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description box. Now, keep in mind, this is an affiliate link. If you buy anything through that link, I will get a small percentage. But if you're planning on buying something from them anyways, you might as well help this channel by helping me make a couple extra bucks on something that you're already gonna be buying. I would really appreciate that. Another point I would like to quickly address is the fact that I haven't posted any truck camper renovation videos for a while now. Some of you have been asking about that. I still have it. It has just been chilling in my parents' driveway that we had bad weather for about a week not long ago. And so I went on a short trip that led to another trip, but now I'm back. I'm gonna be resuming work on that this week. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos. And with that, I'm going to let you guys get on with your day. Thank you once again for watching. Go out there, go on some adventures of your own, live life, beat the status quo, do all of that fun stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you very soon <laughs> in the next video.